Yo, what's up guys, it is Saints fan, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today, we're gonna be going over the four different roles that a president can promote a prospect to. I've been seeing a lot of questions about this, and I'm just gonna go over each individual role and what abilities they have, because some of them are actually really beneficial. Also, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on all the clubhouse contracts and challenges and how much money you make from those. If anyone's interested in that, just let me know in the comments. As always, though, if you find this video helpful, it'd be awesome if you could take a second out of your day to drop the video a like down below. And then if you do like it, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe to my channel. So the four roles, we have the enforcer, we have the sergeant at arms, we have the road captain, and we have the vice president. Now, first thought, you might be thinking the vice president would be the best because it's second in line. It goes president, vice president, and then stuff after that. I don't know. I'm not a, a biker, so I don't know the correct hierarchy of the club, but vice president is supposed to be next underneath president. The thing is, vice president's not actually that good. So the three things you can do, you can call in bull shark testosterone. And by the way, if you're wondering if you get promoted to any of these roles go into your interaction menu and go to the motorcycle club and it'll say abilities that's where you access all this stuff so you can call in bull shark testosterone which is not bad it gives you that for a minute and you can just call these in constantly now it does cost some money but you can call them in for everyone so maybe if you're gonna do a death match or if you're gonna go attack someone you might want to stock up on these but it's not that great the other thing you can do, you can set a target rival that places a marker on a chosen player in the session. And this doesn't actually do anything for you except for marking them. I thought it was something like you put it on them and it was kind of like a bounty where if you killed them, you got some money. But I did that to some random dude and it didn't, it didn't give me anything. It just marks him on the map, which can be useful, but that's not that great considering you could do something already like that without being in a motorcycle club. And then the last thing you can do, because every single one of these roles has their own game or challenge that you can start. And this one, the vice president is called hit and ride. It's actually pretty fun. You have 10 minutes to go around the map and kill a bunch of gang members. And the most, or the person who gets the most kills wins. The problem is you only get $14,000 for winning that challenge. And considering it takes 10 minutes, if you're going for how much money versus how much time you got, it's not worth it at all compared to some of the CEO and VIP mission. And if you don't win that challenge, you only get $4,500. So you really don't get a lot of money from any of these, these missions or these challenges really. I guess they're just extra, and maybe if you're bored one day, you can do them. So the vice president overall, I don't think it's that worth it. The next one, we have the enforcer. This one, the three things you can do, you can call in a hit squad, and this is similar to sending mercenaries, I think, after people. Basically, you mark someone, and I guess NPCs go after them. Again, something that's not that useful, considering you can, like I said, call mercenaries after people. Another thing you can do is drop body armor as an enforcer, and this is kind of hel helpful if your entire club, again, is going into battle and you need some armor. The thing with that, though, if you're riding in a formation, you automatically gain armor doing that, so it's not something that is that important. And then the challenge you can do as an enforcer is called ripping it up, and what you do in this is cause the most damage while on a motorcycle. It lasts 10 minutes, and the winner gets $18,000, and the loser, depending on how much damage they do, gets between two to $4,000. The third one we have is the Sergeant at Arms. And this one is probably one of the, the better ones. What you can do as a Sergeant at Arms, you can drop ammo. And all this stuff that requires you or that gives you the ability to drop certain things, it does cost money. It's not a lot, but it does cost money. So just know that. But you can drop ammo, which mm, that's not the greatest thing in the world, but... The next one, you can drop Molotov cocktails and you get three for each time you drop it. And they're only $200. So that's actually pretty cool because that's been one thing people have been requesting for a while, the ability to get Molotov cocktails. And now as a sergeant at arms, you can give your entire crew that for only 
a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. As for the challenge for the Sergeant at Arms, this one is called On the Run. And in this challenge, all members are given a five star wanted level. And I guess you just go, it lasts 10 minutes, and you go until you're all dead, and the last person is the winner. The payout is actually $16,000 for the winner and around two ish thousand dollars for the loser. Now, last but not least, this one is the best role that you can be in a biker club the road captain i'm not entirely sure why this one is the best or why rockstar made this one have all the best features but it does as a road captain you can one set a formation to ride in and that's really beneficial because it heals you it heals your bike it gives you armor and if people are on slower bikes and you're the road captain and you're on a faster bike it'll maintain the speed that you're going, even if they're on a Fagio, like I showed off in the video the other day. So that's really awesome. Now, the regular president can also do this, so only one person can set the formation. It's either the president or the road captain, but the formation is probably one of the better parts or the better features of the biker club. Another thing you can do is you can call in vehicles. Now, it does cost $1,000 to do this. It's not free like the VIP or CEO ability, but as a road captain, you can call in five separate vehicles. The slam van, not the lost slam van, just the regular one, which is kind of unfortunate. The moonbeam, again, I don't know why that's even there. The BF injection, mm, not really that necessary. The dubsta, which is probably one of the better vehicles out of that bunch. And then the buzzard, the matte black buzzard that you get as a CEO. As a road captain, you can call it in for only $1,000. That That is why I say the road captain is the best out of all of them because you have the ability to set formations which gives you a bunch of stuff and the ability to call in a buzzard which is useful in basically every situation in GTA Online. Now the challenge you can do is called race to a point and like the name suggests you race to a point. You can either race to a random point that it assigns or you can race to your clubhouse and the winner gets $10,000. So it's not that much, but it's something maybe if you're all going back to the clubhouse, do that. Winner gets an extra $10,000. So that is it with the video. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, I'd appreciate if you dropped the video a like. I'll probably have one more video coming out later today, which is going to be about 15 to 20 tips and secret stuff that you may not know about the Biker DLC. So check that out when it is released. As always though, it's your boy Saints fan. See you all in the next one.